Good morning. Chicago is one of the major cities that is supposed to receive federal resources. When will those resources get here? Well, that part is unclear. Gun violence is searching, surging nationwide, and it has gotten worse during the pandemic. Ahead of the White House session this afternoon, Superintendent David Brown tweeted, creating solutions to reducing gun violence requires strong partnerships locally and federally. That is why I am in D.C. with fellow leaders to meet with POTUS to continue our our work toward preventing the senseless gun violence hurting our communities. CPD reports 40 people were shot over the weekend, 11 people were killed. President Biden recently announced federal dollars will go to Chicago and cities like New York, LA and Washington DC to expand community policing and violence interrupter programs. The Justice Department plans to send strike forces to go after gun traffickers. Mayor Lori Lightfoot and the president discussed the issue briefly on the tarmac at O'Hare before Biden headed to Crystal Lake last week. The president expressed concern about the shootings of two ATF agents and a Chicago police officer over the July 4th weekend. More than 100 people were shot that weekend. Violence Interrupters Director Tia Hardiman says sending in the feds has not worked in the past. The same kind of conversation, bringing in a, a strike force, bringing in federal agents, but uh, those strategies have not produced results. There's not one police model you can look at in Chicago that has produced results. And that's just, and I don't mean to sound so critical, I'm just being honest, the numbers tell, tell a different story. In recent weeks, Superintendent Brown has blamed the courts for allowing too many crime suspects out on bond and electronic monitoring. He also uh, pointed to the illegal flow of guns coming into the city of Chicago. This meeting at the White House is set to begin at about 12.15 Chicago time. Outside police headquarters at 35th in Michigan, Judy Wang, WGN News.